Hi, Aubrey. It's Mrs. Olson. Okay, so I have the region assignment pulled up. And the first part on the entry task, it says that you're going to be helping my Aunt Lulabelle. That was just a funny name that I picked. Um, she's going to Denver to play in the snow with our snowshoes and sleds. Okay, look at the list below and cross out any items that she will not need. So you can do this with a pencil if you print it, or you can do it digitally by using the strikeout feature. So if you are in Word, you can come up here to the toolbar, and if you see ABC with the line through it, that is called strike through. So since we're going to a place where there is snow, you are going to cross out any items that really are not designed to keep you warm in the snow. So like a sun hat or an umbrella. That's not really going to help you in the snow, is it? Okay. So that's that part of the entry task. And then over here, I said, if you believe anything needs to be added to the packing list, please write them on the lines. Okie dokie. I'm guessing that you're probably okay with that. So I'm gonna scroll down to the second part. It says, write a description of the region that you live in. So let's take the state of Washington. I hope that's gonna be uh, relatable for you if you've lived in Washington most of your life. It says, use the information from the lesson to write a paragraph that includes unifying characteristics of your region, okay? So in the state of Washington, we are going to, well, maybe, we don't have to hit all of these. These are ideas, but, so you're going to write characteristics of the climate, land, population, history, religion, and the language, okay? So if we come down here to the box, what might you describe as the climate? So a sentence starter, the climate in Washington is, and you might describe it as being rainy or mountainous, that we uh, are on the Pacific Ocean, things like that, okay? The land in Washington is covered with, and again, you might look at a map now and use some of our other resources that came before this lesson to describe or even list names of mountains, names of rivers, and you might even look up to see the latitude and longitude that Washington falls between, okay? Now for these other ones, these other categories, to be able to write a description of Washington, you're going to have to do a little bit of research on your own um, with some different websites. Okay, and for the last couple of categories, I'm going to give you a few websites that you can use that are kid-friendly, and they're going to have safe information to look for. So I'm going to send that to you through the inbox when, uh, at the same time that I send this video to you. Okay, I hope that helps, and if it doesn't, if you have more questions, go ahead and ask me through the inbox, okay?